driving up through the mountains one Friday evening, getting ready to hike the weekend. I was listening to the Radiothon, and I saw the mountains, and I decided that we would do something no man or dog had ever done. We would attempt to hike all 40 or the 4,000 photos twice in the 90 days of winter. My name is Tom Ryan. I am a, uh, a writer and I wrote Following Atticus because I wanted to tell the story of my friend Atticus M. Finch, a minister schnauzer of distinctive character and strong will and great spirit. My life with, before Atticus was full of controversy. I wrote a small newspaper in a very interesting and seething little political town called Newburyport. I became a story myself and lived a life of controversy. It helped sell papers, but it made my life very stressful. But once Atticus came into my life, it reminded me of the simpler things. Atticus was a great vehicle for me in finding my route to what I wanted to be and seeing that he had a good life. It started to contribute to me having a better life. I started to pay attention to things outside of politics. I started to go for longer walks. I started to take better care of myself so we could go for longer walks. We spent more time sitting in forest or sitting at the beach. I paid attention to what made him happy. And in many ways, it allowed me to pay attention to what made me happy. He simplified things. You know, Thoreau says to simplify, simplify, simplify. That's the goal. The book is about a relationship between a man and a dog where we blur the line of what a relationship between a man and a dog should be. But more than anything, it's a story of friendship. It's just about how we cope and go through life. It's like any great adventure. I think every person is called on some great quest that brings them to where they're supposed to be in life. Atticus's appearance in my life was a catalyst to get me towards the life I was meant to lead, uh, a life not where I was writing about politics and what was wrong with the community and cities and the world as I used to be doing, but writing about the wonders of the world. In telling the story of my friend, Atticus M. Finch, I often think of that wonderful line from Saint Exupery, perhaps love is the act of my gently leading you back to yourself. For that's what that little dog did. He led, I followed, and in the end, I became the man I dreamed of being when I was but a boy. <laughs>